Alright, so here we are playing on the new map Marmar, and uh, it is currently running at the maximum settings that this game supports for this phone. So, at smooth graphics with the highest frame rate possible. And right now, we have it on classic style. And just a heads up, I've already played two games on this phone, and I did get my chicken dinner. And to no surprise, the Snapdragon 625 holds its own weight very nicely. Throughout the whole entire 45 minute game, I had no issues with lag, performance, heat, you name it. The whole entire experience was simply fantastic. So here we are playing the game and I'm going to give you guys my updates and show you guys how well this thing performs. Because this phone definitely deserves more attention. So I'm going to go ahead and put the volume up with the Bluetooth speaker in the back so you guys can hear what's going on. And uh, yeah, let's have a good time. So right now we're going to be playing it with the normal settings with uh, no claw grip. Someone has mentioned that I should play with claw grip, but I haven't set my phone up and I haven't actually looked too much into it. But I know that you actually play with a fashion like this. So we actually have four fingers on the screen instead of just two. Or should I say two thumbs and two fingers? I guess we'll try that in another video. And we're going to also have another video where we try to play a full game with the GameSir X1 keyboard mouse adapter. Now how I like to play this game is with two thumbs and that's how I got used to it. Uh, this time we're actually playing with a real account so we can actually level up and eventually fight real people instead of bots just as you guys have requested. And I do have my favorite option on and that would be the gyroscope aim assist. You can choose if you want to have it always on or you can have it only on sight and that's what I have it currently and basically you can track the enemy like so by moving your phone side to side and shooting them. And just like that you can keep control and have some really nice aim and just have a great time. It's my favorite feature on the PS Vita Killzone Mercenary game. And uh, yeah, it's here and I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend checking it out. So anyways, enough talk. Let's go ahead and find a car. Now, while we're at it, we're going to actually try out a bunch of different sites. And we're going to see how the game performs. Because as some of you already know, that some sites actually cause the game to lag. Especially the 4X and 8X scopes. Alright, so we got our hands on a 2X. Actually, here's a quick test with the... So yeah, by the way, it's really creepy. This game, it just all of a sudden, someone just spawns behind you. Or should I say a bot? You don't hear them until they're right behind you. Uh, it's pretty freaky. They gave us some pretty good loot, so I guess that's okay. Let's uh, go back to our testing. Let's go ahead and get started with the holoscope. Alright, so the game is very uh, workable, not laggy at all. Now let's go ahead and try the red dot. Yep, again, once again, pretty good. And finally, for now, we have the 2x, and here's what it looks like. Um, just a tiny bit of frame drop, but it's still very workable and you can definitely get some aiming done here. So playing with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, which is what this phone has, it's an ultra wide. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, it's actually very enjoyable. You get to see a whole lot more and your thumbs are no longer covering the entire screen which is a big plus. We're already off to a great start. We got a level 3 helmet as well as a level 3 armor. So yeah, as I was saying, 18 by 9 aspect ratio, definitely a great aspect ratio to play PUBG on, especially on mobile. Uh, it gives you a whole lot to work with and more room to actually place controls on your screen and use your thumbs. And no matter what situation you're in, you're going to still have plenty of screen to play around with. So in our last game, we got the chicken dinner and we got 19 kills, but the uh, gameplay was pretty boring and I ended up tilting my phone a lot of times, so it actually go off screen. Now, if you guys are wondering, we're 12 minutes in and the phone, uh, it doesn't even feel like it's running. It doesn't even feel like it's running PUBG, to be exact. 12 minutes in on other phones, you'd probably have a really hot phone that's probably hitting 70 or 80 degrees Celsius, like my V20. And you'll instantly start dropping frames left and right, which is not a great experience at all. This phone, on the other hand, 45 minutes in, the highest temperature that I was able to read from the front and the back of the phone was about 35 degrees Celsius, which is actually really, really low. It's almost room temperature and we just got ourselves a 4X. So let's go ahead and test that out. But first, let's look around, make sure no one is just gonna pop out of nowhere. All right, seems okay. Let's pop that uh, 4X and uh, look at something far away so we can get a reading or see how many frames we drop. Looks good right here. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so uh, still very good indeed. It's actually very workable. I don't see any drop frames this time, which is pretty interesting. It could be that the new map is actually optimized or something, but I definitely don't see any problems. And everything here definitely looks very, very smooth. And finally, we find a car. Let's get in. Oh, we just dropped a couple frames. Maybe the map is just loading, but it recovers very quickly, so that's good. And uh, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and get the drop.
think uh, we're the first people, hopefully. What do we have here? Just an arm. You know what? Let's just pop it in here and swap out. There we go. Usually we find a whole lot of people spawning all around us, but not this game for some reason. Last game I got about like 15 kills just standing in one place. It was ridiculous. Oh, there's someone. Nope, that's nothing. Maybe we'll try to snipe up top here. Never done that before. Let's go ahead and try that. Very, very smooth. 4x, definitely workable. No problem whatsoever. It could be that the latest update actually fixed things, or this phone just handled it very well. But one thing for sure is last time I played this game, which was yesterday, before the update that just rolled out, it gets pretty laggy on pretty much any phone when you try to scope in like this. So go ahead and shoot this wall and see if there's any bullet drop. We actually cannot see. Let's try over there. Yep, there's some bullet drop. Come on, give us the drop. Come on. Come on. Alright, I'm the eye. I can't. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey. Drop is for us. Very nice. Nope, just a Groza. No big deal. Let's go ahead and grab that. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. We've got 14 left and we haven't had much action, but here's someone. Hello. Nope, never mind. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop some pills right in the open. Along with some drinks. Anybody around? Hello? Let's see how much gas we have left. Yeah, plenty. Oh, here's some. Oh, that's a real player. Let's go in and try to snipe him from up here. Oh, hit. Hey, we got him. Very nice. One hit. Two hits. Yeah, you can definitely scope. For once, I can actually scope on PUBG Mobile without having just a whole lot of lag just coming in my way. All right, so eight left. We've got our car. We've got our Groza. Level three armor, level three helmet, and an arm. And our goal here is to, of course, win and try to find ourselves some kind of 8x code somewhere. We're going to find anything on this guy. And nope. Just a whole lot of cool stuff that we don't need. Three drops of charm. 8x, please. Nope. But we got an MK14. Might as well. Some over there. We got some people over there. But I have the upper hand. Uh oh. Nope. Alright, it doesn't help. There we go. Now let's get the other guy. Nope. Alright. Uh oh. Yeah. The game lagged on me. Oh well. We actually play some real players, so that's cool. But yeah, about 30 minutes in, and the phone is not heated up at all. So let me get my uh, thermal gun. And show you guys the temperatures. All right, so here are the temperatures. On the front side, we got 28. In the middle, 36, 37. And on the front, basically, our maximum temperature is 37.6. In the back, on the other hand, uh, it's pretty much the exact same story. So uh, full scan on top. Our maximum temperature is 35.2 on the back of the phone. That's right. This phone's temperature, it's almost like you're not even running PUBG. It's the kind of temperatures that we're reading right now of actually browsing Reddit in some cases. That's how power efficient the Snapdragon 625 is. I mean, we have already seen the performance previously on the Lenovo tablet that we have reviewed before. And uh, once again, the performance is simply solid. And once again, we get a ton of performance that is consistent and that is all thanks to the power efficiency and the low temperatures that we get out of the Snapdragon 625. So with that said, we're not gonna end this video on a low note. Let's go ahead and play again, and we'll cut to the end where we can get ourselves a nice chicken dinner, and hopefully an AX scope, so we can conclude this video. So fast forward to, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, who knows, we'll see. You know what, clearly we're not pushing this phone hard enough, so we're gonna go ahead and actually use the built-in screen recorder while playing PUBG with the supported recording settings maxed out. So 1440 by 720 video quality at 70 megabytes per second. So we'll go ahead and hit record and see how it really performs this time. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. So we already have two players here. Let's go ahead and not get killed. Let's go ahead and find a pistol somewhere. Uh, yep, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pistol, thank you very much. That's all we need. All right, so we got an M16 off to a good start or an M14. 
So I have already taken a look at the uh, playback footage. Uh, just I recorded like 10 seconds of gameplay at the lobby and I looked back at it and it actually looked very smooth. So yeah, it was looking pretty promising. We're gonna see how it looks like in post, but again, it's not gonna be 60 FPS, it's gonna be 30 FPS. But that should be fine since we're running the game probably not at 60 FPS anyways. So we just had two players drop here and they just both disappeared. Like no shooting, no nothing. It's like they just teleported or something. Well, let's get in the party bus and uh, find someone. Let's have a fun and uh, do a little jump here. Of course, we can definitely handle that because we're playing PUBG Mobile and it's the party bus. The party bus does not flip. It simply does not. Oh, look, it's somebody. They want to have a little fun? That was pretty bad. You know what? I should just lift off and uh, actually try to move because I don't have to record it through the camera. When I record through the camera, I'm pretty stuck because I try to put it in a frame, but that doesn't work too well. Alright, so next time you're going to see more of this. Perfect aim. Or better aim. Is that a plane out here? Oh, look, it's a player. Hello, player. We're deaf. Oh, nope, never mind. Don't turn. Uh oh, he's going to turn. Don't turn. Oh. Uh, let's get that AK, get the ammo, and a fedora? Nah, it's just uh, it's a nice little cozy place right here. We're just going to camp out, get some uh, nice loot, and uh, let's get after that uh, plane. And that would be to just go ahead to a random town and just stand around. And they'll just come to you. They'll just appear all of a sudden. You'll hear uh, someone walking behind you and shooting you. And it's pretty scary, actually. I actually don't like the situation because it's pretty... You're walking around and all of a sudden... Oh! There's someone. Alright. Yep, just like that. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a whole lot more of that coming up. And we're gonna at least get five more. Guaranteed. Hey, it's a drop for us. You know what? Maybe we don't need players. Maybe the players will come to the drop. Hopefully we can actually make it. Alright, so we gotta actually record again. So, uh, here we go. The recorder has actually reached its maximum size. And we noticed that because the phone is also lagging a bit. That's a whole lot of lag. You guys don't- Oh, there's someone here. Yep, there of course. Come on, get out. Don't- don't die. Nope, don't die. Oh, 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 oh. The game froze. Alright, stop recording. Stop recording. No! No! Nope! 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 Alright, I guess we're done for the bulletin recorder. We saw how long it lasted. Let's see quickly measure the temperatures. Uh, maximum 38. In the back, maximum, same thing. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of difference in temperature. But we did lose a whole lot of performance. Let's get the car and uh, get out of here. Hold on, what's what's this icon here? Oh, it actually shows you where your car was. It should be in this bush. Yep, there it is. Uh, one thing for sure, we should go ahead and heal up. Right in the open. Yep. Okay, uh, ba, ba, ba. let's get inside here. Or is it just... Oh, I did see someone. No, 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 no. You want someone? Here, here you go. You want some of that? Oh, oh boy. Where is that guy? Oh my, he just blew up my car. That's fantastic. Can't see him, where is he? Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh boy. Nope. That is loud. Uh oh, wow. He has a microphone on too. Well, um, better luck next time, I guess. I'm getting matched up with real players, and that is because I'm playing with a real account this time. So, yep, there's another guy. There's just like four of them now. Alright, so that's actually pretty much it for this video. Unfortunately, we didn't get any chicken dinner, but that's alright because we have found out that this phone is worthy of chicken dinner. I mean, my V20 just overheats, and it goes from flagship to no ship. That's my V20. But at least here, we can play a full game and actually have fun. You can definitely get chicken dinner. You just gotta play properly. Um, with PUBG, it's weird how you actually die in the end. I don't know if the lag is when you die, when it tries to load the menu, 
or it lags when they're shooting you. I think it's both. But yeah, that is all for this video. Let me guys know what you think of this. It's a $189 phone. It's usually on sale, but my only gripe with it is it only has 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. That said, the form factor and everything about this phone, the battery life, the performance and everything, except for the camera, camera's okay, nothing special really. Yeah, it only has 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, but there is another phone that is very similar in looks, also from Xiaomi, and I believe it's called the A2. And that one actually has the old band and 4G LTE and all that good stuff. So, but I also have one more thing coming out from uh, Gamester that I actually personally ordered. And that would be the uh, Grep V2 or whatever. I'll put a picture over here. But basically it has nice grips and joysticks and some palm grips right in the corners here. So it's going to be a pretty nice experience. It's going to be pretty interesting to see how that goes. But anyways, that is all for this video. We have about 50 minutes for the footage now. Um, I got to go edit that down to like 10 minutes or something. And hopefully we'll find a better way to record this uh, PUBG experience testing gameplay things. See you guys later. Bye-bye.